Hi guys, hope y'all are doing well. Today I want to take a deeper look at my favorite verse in the Bible. So stick around and find out what verse that is. Gracious and precious Heavenly Father, I give you all honor, praise, and glory, dear Lord. I thank you for this time that we get with you each day. Lord, I ask that you open our hearts and minds so that we are not conformed to this sinful world, but that through your Holy Spirit we are transformed by renewing of our mind. Because, Father, we want to please you. That's what matters. In Jesus' holy and precious name, I pray and ask this. Amen. Okay, guys, under the Old Covenant, God accepted the sacrifice of dead animals. But because of Christ's ultimate sacrifice, the Old Testament sacrifices are no longer any effect. For those in Christ, the only acceptable worship is to offer themselves completely to the Lord under His control. The believer's yet unredeemed body can and must be yielded to him as an instrument of righteousness. With that being said, the verse I want to look at today, and my favorite verse, because this one verse can be used in every circumstance in life. And I always do it. And that verse is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And it says... And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the first words are, do not be conformed. Conformed refers to assuming an outward expression that does not reflect what's really on the inside. It's a kind of masquerade or act. This world it would better be translated as age, which refers to the system of beliefs, values, or the spirit of the age. Some of contemporary thinking and values form the moral atmosphere of the world that we live in and is always, always dominated by Satan. The next word I want to look at is transformed. From the Greek word, from which the English word metamorphosis comes from, which basically means to change in outward appearance. Matthew uses the same word to describe the transfiguration, and that's in Matthew chapter 17, verse 2. Just as Christ briefly and in a limited way displayed outwardly his inner divine nature and glory at the transfiguration, Christians should outwardly manifest their inner, redeemed nature, not once, however, but daily. The next words I want to look at in this verse, and what I personally think are very important in our walk, is renewing of your mind. This kind of transformation can occur only as the Holy Spirit changes our thinking through constant study and meditation of Scripture. We see this also in Colossians chapter 3, verses 10 and 16. The renewed mind is one saturated with and controlled by the Word of God. And last but not least, holy living of which God approves. These words, good, acceptable, and perfect, borrow from Old Testament sacrificial language 
and describe a life that is morally and spiritually spotless. Okay, do you have to do any of this for salvation? No. Scripture says it's all about belief in what Jesus done for you on the cross. However, this is a scripture that I personally choose to live by because I want more of Jesus and less of myself. I find this verse speaks to me, um, and if it speaks to you, great. And if it don't, then don't worry, because God may have a different verse that'll speak to your heart. And that's all I have for you today. As always, hope you're enjoying these. Thumbs up or thumbs down on this video. Let me know what you like. Like, share, subscribe. And if I don't see you at the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. Bye, guys.